welcome to the Salamanca FPS Refurbishment Project. In 2022, Log Exploration embarked on a groundbreaking offshore project, repurposing a previously decommissioned floating production system for redeployment. In reverse order of its original installation at Kiwit in 2007, the topside structure was removed from the hull. This was the first time Kiwit removed a topside structure they originally installed and will subsequently reinstall the same refurbished structure on the original hull. Originally known as Independence Hub, this FPS produced for nearly a decade before being decommissioned and selected for refurbishment by Log Exploration. This innovative project achieves a significantly reduced environmental impact by reusing an existing unit reducing emissions by approximately 70% compared to constructing a new production facility. Topside renovations were conducted at the Kiwit Offshore Services Yard in Ingleside, Texas, while the hull was refurbished at Cetrium Amfels in Brownsville, Texas. The upper and lower decks were separated for detailed structural inspection, refurbishment, and installation of new production equipment. The hull was transported to the Cetrium Amfels yard for a comprehensive refurbishment and reclassification without requiring a dry dock. Stools were installed at Cetrium to raise the top side's elevation by 10 feet, ensuring compliance with modern Met Ocean requirements. Originally designed for gas processing, the top sides required substantial modifications. The new Salamanca facility was designed to produce 60,000 barrels of oil per day, 25,000 barrels of water, and 40 million standard cubic feet of gas, while incorporating high reliability, large turndown capability, and process simplicity in an inherently safe design. Living accommodations were increased to allow for 100 personnel on board, and the helideck was sized for two Sikorsky S-92 helicopters to facilitate logistics to the remote field. 30 megawatts of power is provided by three repurposed natural gas-driven turbine generators, ensuring sufficient power to support sub-sea boosting, improving total recovery from the reservoir. Waste heat is captured for reuse by the processing system, further reducing the facility's carbon footprint. Oil from Leon and Castile on board through two production separators, one dedicated to each field, and is commingled into a single heater treater for further processing and sales. Gas is dehydrated by a triethylene glycol system and compressed by a natural gas-driven turbine compressor to meet dew point and pressure requirements for sale. Produced water is treated by two hydrocyclones and a flotation cell to remove contaminants and allow for environmentally friendly discharge to sea. In reverse order of its removal, the top side was lifted and set onto the refurbished hull. The FPS was towed through Aransas Pass to the Seabuoy, where the sponsons were removed before its final journey to Keithley Canyon, Block 689. All of this was accomplished while remaining within the original Independence Hub payload and maintaining additional space and weight capacity to accommodate future subsea boosting to the Leon and Castile fields and subsea tiebacks. 12 16-foot diameter suction piles were pre-installed on the seafloor by the semi-submersible crane vessel Harima Balder, forming a secure foundation for the FPS. Once positioned, the FPS was anchored with 12 12,000-foot mooring lines made up of chain and polyester rope, ensuring stability in 6,400 feet of water. Incoming production flow lines from the Leon and Castile subsea fields export oil and gas pipelines to each gathering system, and production umbilicals were pre-installed and subsequently pulled in and secured to the FPS by Sub-C-7's deep water installation vessels, Seven Oceans, Seven Seas, and Ross Candies. The Leon and Castile fields are located more than five miles below the sea level and have a reservoir pressure of 20,000 pounds per square inch. Both fields will produce from the upper and lower Wilcox formations with more than 500 feet of high quality net oil pay. At initial production, two wells from the Leon field and one well from the Castile field will deliver near the capacity of the production facility. The sub-sea infrastructure is designed with flexibility to accommodate up to six wells at Leon, three wells at Castile, and sub-sea boosting integration at both well sites. The communication and control umbilicals installed between the FPS and the sub-sea equipment supply hydraulics, production chemicals, and power, completing the connection to the production system. 
the Salamanca FPS represents a milestone in sustainable offshore energy development, blending innovation with environmental responsibility. Here's to powering progress together.